Columbia College is awarding honorary degrees today. They are given to individuals whose professional accomplishments, creative vision, and tireless engagement with the world truly embodies the, in the, the, excuse me, the values and the ideals of Columbia College. They are Columbia College through and through. We will award three such honorary degrees this weekend at our commencement ceremonies. The bios of all of these distinguished honorees are printed in your program. I would now like to bring forward Mr. Hugh Williams, the Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees. He will introduce this honoree for the afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. It is my privilege and pleasure to present and introduce Mr. Elsie Higginbottom to the Columbia College Chicago community. Mr. Higginbottom, affectionately referred to as Mr. H, has been a friend, colleague, and mentor of mine for over 30 years. I have learned so much from him professionally, personally, and in so many other ways. I would like to take the opportunity to tell the, the Columbia College Chicago community a little bit more about Mr. H. Mr. H started in a commercial real estate business when to say it in the best light, African Americans were not welcome to the commercial real estate industry. In spite of the many obstacles, Mr. H, a nationally ranked athlete from the University of Wisconsin, used his competitive spirits and skills to compete in the real estate industry, and he became one of the leading financiers of multifamily housing in the Federal Housing Association program. Mr. H then used the finance and experience gained to start his own development company, Eastlake Management and Development, a company that owns and manages over 15,000 multifamily units. Mr. H is a very talented businessman. His ability to create the big picture and his incredible focus on the details significantly contribute to his outsized success. Finally, Mr. H's commitment to the community is unequaled. He's always focused on the question, how can this help the community? A decade ago, Mr. H founded the Friends of Track and Field to advocate for a renaissance of the track and field in the public schools and to support the construction of a new state-of-the-art indoor track facility on the south side. Over 10 years, Mr. H was able to bring together the governor, mayor, and very wealthy individuals to support the building of the stadium, which will be a major asset for future track and field athletes on the south side. I hope I've given some insight to the person I have come to know and love as Mr. H. President Kim, I present Elsie Higginbottom to receive the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Elsie Higginbottom, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And I'd like to say if I could turn the clock back 50 years and 60 years, and if I had a commencement exercise like this, what an outstanding exercise. What kind of music. Look how fortunate we are today. But thank you, Dr. Kim and Hugh. And many thanks also to the faculty and students of Columbia and their parents and families. I'm humbled to receive this honor, honorary degree today. It is especially meaningful to me to be acknowledged by Columbia College of Chicago. 
a school that has been making positive contributions to Chicago's cultural landscape for over a century. I'm a builder. I build buildings, I build businesses, and I even build mo movements. My supporters call me a serial entrepreneur. My detractors often call me crazy. <laughs> My family will tell you that I'm working all the time, sniffing out problems and designing solutions. An event like this gives me the rare opportunity to st sit still and reflect. As I look out, pardon me, <clears throat> as I look out at all of you, I see that we are on opposite sides of our careers. I'm looking back over 50 years of experimenting, strategizing, and pulling out my hair. I'm looking for common threads, meaningful stories, and lessons to live by. But you are all looking forward. You are looking forward to writing your own stories. You are at the starting point of exciting and challenging careers. At first, I wondered what a real estate guy could discuss with a room full of creatives. But it's clear to me that creatives and entrepreneurs actually have a great deal in common. Creatives and entrepreneurs are different families in the same tribe. As an elder statesman in the entrepreneurial family, I'd like to explore what makes us alike and identify some of my life's lessons. Entrepreneurs and creatives are visionaries. We have the ability to see things in time and space that do not yet exist, that have never existed. We can see vac a vacant piece of land and imagine a high rise. We can pull a symphony out of thin air. We can transform visions that, on that exist only in our minds into something that everyone can experience. We expand what is possible in the material world based on the infinite potential of our imaginations. What is said about me, and I'm sure it is said about most of you, we don't just think outside of the box. We don't even know the box is there. My advice to you is to fearlessly explore the outer reaches of your imagination. Have faith in your intuition. Trust, in your, trust that you will realize your vision by following your gut and trusting your instincts. It is challenging to turn down the naysayers, to ignore the stop signs, to hurl yourself over life's roadblocks. But do it anyway. Cultivate your vision. Nurture your imagination and make things happen. Creatives and entrepreneurs are courageous. We, always, we are always willing to step up outside the box into brand new territory. We leap without a net, making things up as we go. We do not fear failure. Instead, we fail repeatedly in order to move closer and closer to success. I always say, perfect costs too much. So keep producing, inching closer to perfection without being, becoming enslaved by it. Creatives and entrepreneurs are hardworking to the point of sometimes obs obsession. There's no task too small or dirty it moves us, if it moves us one step closer to our goal. Somewhere I read that none of us are satisfied with just achieving contentment. We are wired to chase new challenges and solve the next problems. Creatives continually rework their themes and images, struggling to bring life to the visions in their head. Serial entrepreneurs start and sell multiple companies in a lifetime. Let the thrill of your journey be your motivation. Creatives and entrepreneurs are storytellers. We are avid observers of human experience. Cre creatives memorialize and entrepreneurs monetize. But we all use stories to recruit our audience. Listen to your inner voice. Discover the unique purpose of your life. Tell your story with integrity through your words and through your works. 
Entrepreneurs and creatives are sustained by optimism. We believe in the creative process. We believe in forward motion. We believe that the world can be improved and that we are the change agents. Pressure does not stop us, it propels us. We love challenges, we love momentum, and some of us really love the word no. Don't let, don't let worry, worry pull you under, be positive. My career has had several chapters, and thankfully, on balance, I have been successful. I have succeeded because I have embraced my creative nature. I own, I own, own a, a construction company, I, a business, a, a, an aviation business, company and several other ventures. I have collaborated in the boardrooms and barbershops. I have worked with principals and presidents. I have not uh, been stingy with my success. I have been committed to generosity. I have men mentored and financially supported dozens of small businesses and not-for-profits. Thousands of people have found work through my efforts. I say a, a this, but not bragging about my personal accomplishments, but I encourage you from the bottom of my heart to find your vision, your purpose, your passion, be your biggest creative self, and when you do, you succeed. I have followed my vision. I have trusted my gut. I have been courageous. I have failed, but not faltered. I have worked hard, I have chased perfection, but I have never been enslaved. Pressure is my fuel, and I have always been positive. I believe in my vision. You should believe in yours. Make sure that your work takes place in a supportive community and that your vision extends past your own well-being. I have traveled my life's path like a steamroller, focused and strong but I have been supported every step of the way by coaches, professors, mentors, business partners, and friends. I have found my professional family, creative, driven people striving for excellence. And I want to make sure that you find your professional family. As a result of this community, I have been very, very, sorry, sorry for a minute there. I have been very successful in developing real estate, an enterprise, that, as it was said earlier, that manages over 15,000 units. I say that long past the age of when I thought I would be a father, uh, my dear wife Deborah and I had four children. The greatest joy in my life has been watching each of them develop as individuals. I am grateful that I will be able to help them find their vision and passion. And for my children and you, I wish life's purpose and joy. Congratulations on your success today and your accomplishments and the best of luck in the future, whatever you do. Thank you.